Get it old Trump Syrian airstrikes blocked by James Mattis It is believed that the U.S. military scheduled two potential windows for strikes, including one on Thursday night, but Mr. Mattis canceled them both. Mr. Mattis is reportedly concerned that anything other than a show strike will risk the situation escalating in the region, particularly with Russia. One White House official said he wants Mattis to push the limits a little bit more. Horrific images emerged following the chemical attack which killed dozens and injured hundreds more, the U.S. president tweeted, Russia vows to shoot down any and all missiles fired at Syria. Get ready Russia, because they will be coming, nice and new and smart. You shouldn't be partners with a gas, killing animal who kills his people and enjoys it. Hours later, however, Mr. Mattis said the U.S. was still assessing whether the Syrian regime was behind the attack and working on options to respond. The Pentagon chief said, We're still assessing the intelligence, ourselves and our allies. We're still working on this. On Thursday, Mr. Mattis told the House Armed Services Committee that no decision had been made on what action to take. In the same hearing, Mr. Mattis also voiced his concerns about the consequences if the U.S. were to attack Assad Syria. Mr. Mattis said, we're trying to stop the murder of innocent people, but, on a strategic level, it's how do we keep this from escalating out of control, if you get my drift on that. The Pentagon chief worries the U.S. lacks a strategy and that a powerful retaliation could cause a clash between Iran or Russia. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister, Theresa May, is seeking to reassure colleagues the UK is not on the verge of dragged into the bloody Syrian civil war by joining a planned US-led attack, a senior government source said last night. This is about stopping the use of chemical weapons and has nothing to do with regime change in Syria, they said. Gideon Ramadis voiced his concerns about the consequences if the US were to attack Assad Syria Mrs. May won the backing of the cabinet for RAF jets and submarine-launched cruise missiles to strike Syrian targets in response to the alleged deployment of chemical weapons on the town of Doma which killed an estimated 75 civilians. Some insiders expect the U.S.-led offensive to come this weekend after the Prime Minister discussed details of the plan with U.S. President Donald Trump in a phone call late on Thursday night. But the Prime Minister used a speech to ministers at an emergency war cabinet meeting in Downing Street on Thursday to insist her aim in the action was to signal that use of chemical weapons cannot go unchallenged. Get if Pentagon chief worries the U.S. lacks a strategy she reminded ministers that the international community had outlawed chemical warfare in 1918 in the aftermath of horrific clashes in the First World War. What we are seeing that international norm that has lasted nearly 100 years being eroded, she told the cabinet. The prime minister's comments come after Russia issued a chilling warning that any U.S. attack on Syria could escalate into a full-scale war.